In this video, I'll cover what you need to know about Mid Journey 6 and its uses in web design. Things like how text effects generated by AI are much better now, photorealism has improved, and prompting has changed. In the first part of the video, I'll showcase examples and new features of Mid Journey 6 in 2024. And in the second part, we'll actually start using Mid Journey 6 as part of building a website and taking advantage of all the latest features. Let's begin. So first, let's look at what's changed. Text. Generating text inside of images has been one of the most challenging things for AI. It's almost as difficult as producing the right amount of fingers on a human hand. Unlike ChatGPT, which can write books, Dali and Midjourney have always struggled to produce even a single letter or a proper word. But this version of Midjourney, Midjourney 6, is much better at having readable text because its training model has incorporated that. This definitely will give it an edge on other AI models on the market. I saw some of these in action. While this is a step in the right direction, this also means I might finally have more confidence with artwork produced for web designs and user interfaces. And I'll definitely be trying this out later in the video. Realism. The realism of AI artwork has always been fantastical, creating larger than life representations of scenes with colors that are more vibrant than an Instagram photo with filters gone wild. However, this latest version of Midjourney finally toned down some of this, making images look truer to realistic life, just like how my mom would take them on her iPhone. What this means is a less AI looking images. Still, if you have really good prompting skills, you can create a unique looking scenes that might mix a bit of photorealism with art styles that wasn't possible before. Hopefully, this means that I can create a hero image for a website that actually looks like it was taken by a real person. Prompting has changed. Midjourney 6 has been very clear that you're going to have to relearn how to prompt to generate and imagine different images. No longer will you be adding terms and tags like beautiful or 4K or minimalistic or dynamic or relaxing or don't forget to like this video. Instead, now you just write in natural language and the AI will understand your intent. First, I'll cover how to use Midjourney 6. Head over to Discord and head to the Midjourney bot or channel. Then forward slash settings will bring up the options here to select different versions. And from the drop down box, just select Midjourney version 6 alpha. Since prompting has changed, I wanna create a simple imagine prompt, one that I saw earlier to create the word sparkler using fire sticks or sparkle lights. My first attempt didn't really work because the word wasn't shown, but I know prompting has changed in version six. So this time I added sparkler in quotations and this produced the results I was looking for. Now I can actually see those letters and that word in the AI art generated. Let me try another example. Something I've heard is that characters can be created more easily in Mid Journey 6. So I tried Homer Simpson holding up a sign that says hire me. This Mid Journey 6 prompt did exceptionally well, creating even the background that would look established for a shot like this. However, you might notice that not all the writing is perfect. Some of the examples here on the left didn't have good written text, while the examples on the right were closer to what I asked. So what's happening here and how is prompt changed in the latest version of Mid Journey? Well, firstly, the first few words or what Mid Journey say is a approximately the first 40 words are in play. This means that Mid Journey 6 takes great notice of what you write here. The next 40 words are less in play. They still have some significance to the scene. However, there's a huge drop off. As a simple example, you might want to have in play a photo of a dog in the first 40 characters with his eyes being brown in the next 40 characters and the style and setting and background of the scene in the last few characters or sentences. This kind of prompting is much more human readable and very closely matched to how we would normally interact with other AI like ChatGPT. Let's take a look at Mid Journey 6 realism. Over the last year, I've generated a lot of images using Mid Journey and all its versions from Mid Journey 4 to Mid Journey 5 and now Mid Journey 6. I wanted to use some of the same prompts or maybe change them up a little bit to go with the new Mid Journey 6 prompting to see what they look like now in the latest version. Here's one I generated on Mid Journey 4. The prompt was a website mockup of a chatbot using AI. Mid Journey 6 only produced 
produced robots that looked like they were chatting. There was nothing to do with websites at all. I tried another one, a beautiful website in the style of Nike. The prompt I used for this one had a lot of dashes, so I might actually rewrite it so that it uses more of the prompting structure that Midjourney 6 now encourages. And once again, I only got photos of shoes and nothing website design related. I'm gonna have to assume that Midjourney 6 hasn't been trained on any website layouts or user interface designs. And this is what I mean by the photos generated by Midjourney 6 being more realistic, like these shoes here, compared to previous versions. Even if I'm very specific, requesting a beautiful website design with good UI and UX, the best I can hope for is maybe a picture of a laptop. Don't be discouraged though. This just means that we need to be a bit more focused on how to use Midjourney 6 for web design rather than having it generate mockups for us. We can use it more for things like hero sections or actual images that we could use as placeholders rather than getting stock photography. Let me show you an example. I've opened up Wix Studio and I'm going to create a brand new site. On this site, I'm just gonna drag in a hero image that I can use and I'm gonna upload a AI generated one from Midjourney. Here's a prompt I put together earlier, which looked cool. It was about a fantasy sky with clouds and great lighting. And then I selected to upscale the third version of this. I saved the image locally and then after that I uploaded it to the Wix site. Now I was able to expand it out to use the full hero section. I could reposition the image and then add text on top, whatever message I really want for this website. Or I could play around with the design until I figure out one that actually works and I want to use. Every picture and every website is a little bit different, but it gives you the flexibility to create sites using AI images really well. I hope one day Midjourney 6 allows us to do custom Midjourney journeys, kind of like how ChatGPT does custom GPTs. Then I could actually train my own model on just web design. But until that time, I'll have to cross my fingers hoping that maybe Midjourney 7 will be more focused on UIs and UX.